Good morning. My name is Mark Welsh. I'm the pastor here at Polk Street United Methodist Church. I'm so honored that you chose to worship with us. It's my prayer and all of our prayer that you would connect with God in a special way as together we worship the Lord in music, in word, and in deed. So I pray God's blessings on you this morning as together we lift up the name of our Lord. Good morning. Welcome to worship on the second Sunday of Advent. You will be truly blessed today with the music and the scriptures and all that happens here. And We pray that you will be brought into the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning and prepare your hearts to worship him and serve him throughout this Advent season. I want to invite our ushers to hand out registration pads and we appreciate everyone filling those out for us today. And also take a look at your bulletin inserts. And do we ever have something fun for you this Wednesday night from 6 to 7.30 in the Wesley Hall? Adult Christmas trivia. You won't want to miss it. And if you'd like to come eat at 5 o'clock, just call the church office, let them know you're going to be here. But we're going to gather with Polk Streeters, and we're going to have a good time together of fun and fellowship. Also, our shoe tree is out in the narthex in the foyer. And if you would like, pick up a card, buy a pair of shoes for a kid, and bring them back. And those will be distributed to children in need this coming year. Let us pray. Lord, we're so thankful to be here today, and we thank you for this season of Advent. We pray for open hearts and minds and souls, Lord, to receive your blessing of a relationship in your son, Jesus. Lord, help us to be changed and transformed through worshiping you today, that we might go into the world and be your hands and feet to offer your love, your grace, and your forgiveness to all around us. We pray all this in Christ's name. Amen. And now the Neely and Wells family will light our Advent wreath. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf and the lion and the yearling together. And a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear. Their young will lie down together. And the lion will eat straw like the ox. Last Sunday we lit the candle of hope. Rem remembering the hope which comes in Christ. Today we light the second candle of Advent, the candle of peace. God is a peaceful dream, has a peaceful dream for the world, and we dream it too. We dream of a peaceful world full of wolves and leopards and lions, eating and sleeping and dancing with lambs, kids, and calves. We dream of a peaceful world where nations come together, where war is a memory, and we eat at one table. We light this candle in peace. On this day, we remember the Lord of all, who brings peace surpassing all understanding.
comfort. Oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Get you up. To a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Now please stand as together we sing, O come, O come, Emmanuel.
the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting that might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and you and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength in his arm. He has scattered the proud and in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. Please remain seated and join in singing the first verse of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus.
Let us stand and sing Away in a Manger, the first and third verses. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the end. Let us pray. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. You alone are worthy of all praise and honor. You alone are God. We thank you for this time of worship and a time in this moment to pray to you. We bring before you many requests. We pray for those serving in the military throughout the world and their family members. We ask for a special sense of your presence during this Advent and Christmas season, that even though great distances separate them from family and friends, they may know your love and grace in a personal way. We pray for those who have been hospitalized recently and are battling illnesses. We give you thanks for your healing hand at work in each of these. We thank you for being with us at all times and all seasons of life. We also lift in Christian sympathy all who mourn the death of loved ones. Let the peace of Christ bring comfort and assurance to every grieving heart. We give you special thanks this morning for our missionaries serving throughout the world. Empower them by your spirit to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to each person they encounter. We thank you that there is rejoicing in heaven for every person who turns to you and is made into a new creation through your Son. May our worship today be an expression of our great love for you and honor the name of your Son, Jesus. We ask all these things in his name as we say together the prayer he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I invite the ushers to come down as we prepare to give of our tithes and offerings this morning. In this Advent season, as we prepare for the glorious celebration once again of our Savior Jesus Christ. I thank you for your generosity of your time, your talents, your gifts, and your resources that you give to this congregation. Join me please as we uh, do, uh, pray together.
the offertory prayer. Giver of all good gifts, bless the offering we make this morning, a small token to all the blessings you have poured down upon us. Into our human weakness, you gave the greatest gift of all, Emmanuel, your presence with us. In Jesus the Christ, not just a presence, but an invitation through him to be your children and heirs to your kingdom. May our gifts, hymns, prayers, and promises help us realize that the kingdom in our hearts and in our world. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.
may be seated. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth among all those whom he favors. When the angels had left him and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that is taking place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph with the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Now please stand. As together we sing, it came upon a midnight clear.
the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has writ been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out at there, and ahead of them went the star that they had seen on the edge rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Please stand as we sing the first, fourth, and fifth verses of the first Noel.
please stand with me as we sing the first, second, and fourth verses of Joy to the World. be seated. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to that which was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, to all who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's son, full of grace, and truth.
That was wonderful. Uh, George, thank you for all your work. No, Paul, you were amazing. Um, let's hear it for our orchestra, for our choir. Our choir has worked hard at this for a long time. Our orchestra has uh, been absolutely phenomenal. And our youth choir, uh, yesterday, they went on tour around the city. They went to a retirement home. They went to Troop 80, where they sell Christmas trees. And they went to the botanical gardens, and they, they sang Christmas carols. Then they stayed up all night at a lock-in. So if you saw them yawning, it was for good reason. But y'all were wonderful. Thank you for sharing your gift with us. So on behalf of the pastors, this morning, I'd like to simply say thank you to the Lord and thank you to you for making Polk Street what a wonderful place to invest our lives in. How can we respond to this Christmas promise that's been shared with us the Christmas promise of the good news of the gospel of Emmanuel, God with us. We can respond in worship with our prayers as we sing to the Lord, as we lift up our hearts to the Lord. We can respond with our gifts. We can be generous this Christmas season. If you have been blessed by our TV ministry, if you have been watching and worshiping with us online, I encourage you to send a gift either online or through the mail. We would love to bless you as we continue our TV and online ministry as we worship the Lord together with you. And finally, may we worship the Lord this Christmas season with our lives and our hearts together as God's people. So this morning, if you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you'd like to be baptized or you'd like to join this church, you are welcome to do that now. So let's stand as we sing our very last song. You know, every Sunday here at Polk Street, I think, okay, now it's time for Christmas. I just need to tell you, now it's time. Now I'm ready for Christmas. Thank you all for sharing that. That was very wonderful. If we could grab hands with the person next to us, if you're able. Let's close together with our benediction. Lord, thank you for Christmas. And thank you for the good news of the gospel. Thank you for the songs. Thank you for the worship. As we walk out these doors, may our hearts be filled with that good news as we spread the Christmas spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.